to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Well good morning, good morning ladies and gentlemen Well guess what, we are in Walmart and we are here to get this product right here 572 my wife uh, requested that I got I would get some new ones she said she had enough to do the floors this time but uh, not enough to do it again next time so I usually buy them right out <laughs> I usually grab every single one that they got in here because we can't get this in uh, in Canada right so we got one more left in there so we got four or five six of these there we go look at that we got six of them six of them in there so well i guess we'll uh quickly walk over to the electronic side and uh see if they got any gopro stuff in there today i haven't been in here in a while so we'll go in there and check things out and get the heck out of here right I know they got a subway in here so I might just go in there and grab me a subway sandwich before I leave so anyways let's go over there and see what we can find here we go guys we have finished our shopping here at the Walmart now it's time to get out of here there's always trucks in here in this truck stop or truck stop in this Walmart yeah that's right I stayed overnight even here a few times I guess we're gonna have to let that four wheeler go first. Cause it's a little tight getting in and out of here. But I gotta go all the way to this side of the highway or road or whatever you wanna call it in order to make my turn. Otherwise I go over the curve and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna tore up their curve and grass and everything. Cause if I do that, they might say no more trucks in here. You guys are tearing up our parking lot and leaving garbage here and all that fun stuff, you know. There we go. We got the green light, arrow. So let's get out of here. Let's get back on the interstate and hopefully this rain that you see right now is not going to turn into ice rain here. Which I am a little afraid of that that's going to happen, but... Well, I guess nothing I can do about it, but that would suck because they're supposed to get snow up in Manitoba and that's the way we're going, so I can expect it to get colder and then it will in probably freeze. Feet, turn left on US 71 oh. and then take the entrance to the ride in 900 feet. Anyways, here we are. Got a few more turns and then we'll be on the interstate. Yeah, well. I'm actually surprised that this time of the year it's still as nice as it is. Previous years, this time of the year, you would see a lot of snow on the ground already and it would be below freezing point and right now it's not. It's actually not below a freezing point. Yeah. Alrighty guys, here we are in Fargo, North Dakota. That's right. We are just about to turn on to I-29. That's right. There you go. Tell them, RJ. That's right. Well, he says 81 North, but it's actually 81 and 29. I guess they run together here for a little bit. So we are going to go on here and uh, start heading further north. I was talking to the wife there earlier and she says it's uh, snowing up in Manitoba. Well, it had at least this morning. She said they probably got a little bit over an inch of snow there this morning. So uh, we will probably see some white ground towards Manitoba. That's right. Up here we see a little bit of snow up there in the, in the ditch there. But other than that, pretty much everything is melted from the looks of it. We had rain up there in Minnesota earlier, but uh, now the sun has come through and 
We got nice sunshine right now. That's for sure. Anyways, we got 234 miles to go up to Winnipeg to our terminal. We gotta take this load to Winnipeg. We'll go take it over there and uh, we'll see if they'll give me anything to take back to the yard, to the Steinbach. If not, then we'll just have to uh, bobtail back home, I guess. It's about all we can do. But I'm just gonna do a reset and go and uh, Gold Saturday again. Seems like I've been doing this cycle now for the last couple of weeks. Come home Thursday and leave Saturday, but oh well, that's all right too. But pretty soon I'm going to change that. Another couple of two weeks, and I'll change that cycle. My plan is to come home around the 22nd, 23rd of December, and then I'll stay home till the 4th of January. That's my plan. I hope everything will work out too that way. And we have some plans for over New Year's. Kind of what we did last year already. But whatever. That was a lot of fun. We want to do that again this year. So, Anyways, let's enjoy the sunshine while we can. And let's get further towards Manitoba. And then we'll enjoy the snow as we can. <laughs> the snow can be fun too, right? Yeah, we need snow to go snowmobiling, so, uh, so I welcome the snow. I welcome the little bit colder weather, so that way the lakes will freeze, and we can go some snowmobiles on the lake. Snowmobiling, that's right. Well, anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. I don't know what it is with the scale here, the northbound scale here lately. They've been uh, kind of open a little more than usual. Way station ahead. Yeah. In 0 0.2 miles, turn left on Highway 5. Kind of trying to see if that's my buddy over there. At the, that other truck that's got, uh, got it in the back there. Let's see what they got to say to me today. Or at least I think it's somebody that I know that's... Uh, parked there in the back possibly I don't know 100% for sure but kind of looks like them cottonwood it might be my cousin <laughs> I think he drives for them but it looks like it's starting to snow well they don't want nothing from me because they never screamed at me so in 800 feet turn left on highway 5 you must US be good to go because they never screamed at me that's right. Let's see if there is somebody in there that I know. I was trying to see, but I couldn't quite see if it was my cousin or not. I think my cousin drives for this company. Yeah, I think in this truck right here, I think that's where he was in, but I'm not 100% sure though. No, that's not him. Oh, here's that guy. <laughs> there he is, I kind of thought of it. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, not bad, how are you? Well, how are you doing for me? We don't know all about your sloper. Well, I'm going to try to leave you for it, huh? Yeah, I got me for it, and I'm going to pass you for it, and I'm going to see all the boys that I'm going to have. Hey, oh boy! Yeah, it's careful. You better be the good boy on the road, okay? I'm always a good boy, you know that. Yeah, yeah. You make it look good, looks like, but who knows? Oh, I can't imagine when we're in Monday, we're not doing come here. I'm gonna go to home and play with Mama. No one can stop. Does he keep on my hand? Does he all up on my hand? Or she was off the thing on me? Oh well, have good luck with your two hours. We'll catch you next time. Hey, no problem. Thanks, man. Uh, be there one there. In 700. Where is uh, my cousin? Left on I-29 North, U.S. 81 North. What's that? Well, how's the hip thing up? 
Behind me, that day is gonna come. 